What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Movie Collector 623 YouTube channel. Um, in this video, I am going to show you my entire November pickup. So, yeah, there's quite a bit, man. I got Blu-rays, I got 4Ks, studio releases, uh, boutique labels, you name it. So, uh... I'm going to start off with the studio releases first and then go on to the boutique labels. All right, moving on to the studio releases, I did pick up uh, Kuko. Um, it was okay. I didn't really, you know, the ending kind of like was a little bit confusing for me. I need to rewatch it, but it's a, it's an all right film. I was expecting a lot more from it. Um. It ends with us. This one too, you know, it wasn't like my my really my uh my cup of tea. It was okay, but it's not something that I'm going to be rewatching anytime soon again. So I got the Sugarland Express. Now, this one I did enjoy. This is a classic. You got um Goldie Hawn. This was back in the 70s. Great film. I enjoyed this one. I saw it back in the 80s. So it was nice to uh revisit this one. Good film. And I believe it was a true story, I think. Speak No Evil, I enjoyed this one as well. Good movie. Suspense, thriller. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of psychological horror a little bit. It's a fun movie. Speak No Evil. I got Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. I enjoyed this one as well. I enjoyed the first one more, but this one was fun. This one was a good watch. Um, I liked the... You know, the the original cast, well, not all of them, but some of the original cast came back, like Wayona Ryder and Catherine O'Hara. And then you added some new characters, oh, of course, Michael Keaton. And then you added new char new actors, new characters like uh, Jane Ortega and uh, Monica, I forgot her name, but she's uh, a French actress. Um, but yeah, she is also on there. <clears throat> um, I got Reagan, which I still haven't seen yet. I heard... Mix uh, people were mixed feelings about it, so I need to check that one out. Godzilla minus one, I love this one. This one was so good. I really enjoyed uh, Godzilla minus one. I highly recommend it if you all haven't seen it. This is the way, probably my favorite Godzilla, modern Godzilla movie that has been in the last couple of years. Yeah, this one would probably be my favorite. Um. Got the Looney Tunes Volume 4 from the Warner Archives. <clears throat> I did pick up Blazing Saddles. Classic, good movie. It's a movie that won't be made today, that's for sure. Got the Terminator. What can you say about the Terminator? Sci-fi horror. Arno is a killing machine on this one. All right, so now let's jump into some uh, boutique labels. Let's start off with some shout selects. I got the Born on the 4th of July with Tom Cruise. Good movie. I still haven't seen the 4K, but I've seen the movie before. I picked up Hush, another great film. I think this is a true story as well. I haven't seen uh, the 4K yet, but I remember watching the movie when it came out. So yeah, uh, Rush. Um, Home for the Holidays. I recently saw this one during the couple of days ago during the Thanksgiving uh, break. Uh, good film, great comedy, great cast. It's got Robert Downey Jr. in it, Steve Gutenberg, Holly Hunter. Great movie. Um, Dragon, the uh, Bruce Lee story. Uh, I haven't seen the 4K yet, but I've seen the movie before. Great movie. Love this movie. And then I got Hush. This is a Screen Factory or Shout Studio. It's the same, really. It's the same thing, but now they have different. Like they have Screen Factory, Shout Factory, Shout Select, uh, Shout Studios. I don't know anymore. I can't keep up. But it's the same. It's the same company. Um, yeah, this one has been been waiting for this one to get a physical release, and finally uh, they released it. This was only on streaming before. Great, great movie. Hush. All right, let's move on to some some vinegar syndromes that I picked up during during the month of November. Um, Devil Times Five, uh, 
great film. It's kind of like a '70s uh, um, inspired uh, pre proto slasher, as you can say. It's kind of like a proto slasher. You got these uh, evil, demented kids. Um, then I got um, Doctor Terror's House of Horrors. Look at the cast on this. You got Donald Sutherland. You got uh, Peter Pete, Peter Cushing. You got um, Christopher. Is it Christopher Lee? I think it's Christopher Lee. I'm not sure. Great film. This is like an anthology film. It's got different stories. So great stuff. From uh, I guess this is Olive. From Olive Films, I did pick up Night Game. Kind of like a slasher. You got Roy Scheider in it. Um, it's more like a psychological horror, but it's got some slasher elements. So Night Game. That wasn't a new release, by the way. I just picked it up because it was real cheap. Some Severin titles that I picked up. Um, I did pick up The Sec. Beautiful release by Severin Films. And then it's a, it's a produced by Dario Argento, but it was released by... Uh, or was it... Uh, I don't know if I can pronounce that. I don't know if it's Michael Michelle. It's Italian. It's an Italian director. But yeah, The Sec. And then I got another one, Severin, the Spider Labyrinth. And this is a also a good uh, a good release by Severin. All right, let's move on to some uh, some vinegar. Well, not vinegar syndrome, but it's a, a partner label, the cinematography line. This is the standard edition of Dangerous Game. Good movie. Let's go on with some Kino Lorber. So I got The Hunted. I got Bug. And just recently I picked up um, The Visit. This one's got some uh, alternate artwork. I think Bug has an alternate artwork, but I don't know. I didn't really like that artwork. Let me just show it off really quick so you guys can check it out. That's the... The reversible artwork for Bug. Um, I guess I should switch it. I mean, I got the slip cover for it anyway, but probably switch it later. I don't know. Um, yeah, so I got Bug with uh, Ashley Judd. Who and then The Hunted. This one doesn't have reversible artwork, but these are all great releases by Kino. Um, great stuff. So, yeah. Alright, moving on to some Umbrella release. I did pick up... Uh, House of the Devil. This is an ultimate release by Umbrella Entertainment. Look at that. It's the original artwork right there. Got some nice special features. It doesn't have reversible artwork. It's the same thing, but you just you don't have that the rating that they usually put on there. And in the back, you know, you have the, that's amazing, man. That's beautiful right there. Here's a back of the J card so yeah this is a good release by Umbrella House of the Devil I did pick up one from uh, Arrow A Simple Plan great cast great movie man this is an awesome movie let's see what else we got here another one from Arrow I did pick up Invasion there we go Trying to, and then I, oops, I have some studio releases here too that I didn't mention before. Strange Darling and Blink Twice. Both of them were okay. I think I like this one better. It, um, I don't know, to me it was a, a lot better. I, I enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed the twist. I mean, so it's a good movie. This one was, a, was pretty good too, man. Not bad. Both of them were pretty good. Um, then I got some more Christmas movies for the family. I did pick up. White Christmas, and I picked up Last Christmas. These are classics. I mean, well, this one's not a classic. This one's a classic. I haven't seen it in years, but can't wait to rewatch that. Some more studio releases here. I got Trap. And another one here is We Were Soldiers. I haven't seen this one in a while. Um... I haven't seen the 4K yet, but this is a great, great film. 
and this one was okay. This surprised me. I, I didn't think I was going to like it, but you know what? It isn't bad. I actually had a good time with it. I don't know why. Don't judge me, but I actually thought it was pretty good. Um, I also got the steelbook of the 430 movie. This is a, so cool. It has like a VHS type of thing here. Yeah, it looks really nice. Um, can't wait to rewatch that. Um, then from another partner label of uh, Vinegar Syndrome, Beer.com. Uh, this is another one that I haven't seen in a while. I thought it was okay. Not that, not great, but not bad. But I need to rewatch it. Definitely need to rewatch it. And this was probably one of my favorite releases from the month of November, Trick or Treat. I mean, this is this is my favorite release, man. I just love this movie, especially if you are a into the glam metal, heavy metal stuff of the eighties. I mean, yeah, then you'll like it, like stuff. And um, I also got some Barnes and Noble sale from Criterion, so I did pick up uh, Chronos. Devil's Backbone. I showed these. Uh, I made a video for these. So, and Paris, Paris, Texas, and five easy pieces. I'm still waiting for two more, but I guess they won't come in until next week. And that was it. That was my whole monthly pickups of the month of November. I try to speed it up, guys, because I'm gonna have company over. We're gonna watch uh, the WWE Survivor Series. I think it's already starting. So I apologize for that. I try to hurry it up. So again, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you sticking around as always. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell for more upcoming videos. And I'll see you in the next one.